And so we can boldly, I, I love this, listen, we can boldly, voluntarily come to the Father. Amen. Knowing that he will receive us. Whosoever comes to me, I will in no wise cast out. And brother, if there's anyone today who still experience the estrangedness from God, I want you to know that Jesus has paved the way. <laughs> His blood on Calvary is that which has made all things right. His perfect life for you and for me. And he simply says, I've paid it all. Trust me. Come to the Father. And then as we come to him and surrender ourselves, we become a Paul. And we are bound then to work for the reconciliation of others. And we have a window. If you've accepted that reconciliation, we have a window coming up with this evangelistic series that we can express that great love and what we have found knowing that all around us here in Linwood, all around us are folk who are estranged from God. Doesn't matter what they've done, but we can encourage them, come back. He will receive you better than you deserve. Father in heaven, you are so good to us. We would truly draw nearer, nearer our God to thee. Thank you for giving to us this table, representing your body, blood spilled, body broken for us. Thank you for giving to us the ordinance of humility that we can come and be washed again and experience this mini baptism and our closeness with you and to know that there's nothing between our soul and the Savior. Oh, what a privilege, oh God. We thank you. Then as we come and nestle ourselves in your arms and not wrestle ourselves out, I pray then that you will instill in us what it really means to have the ministry of reconciliation. So Lord, as we come before your table, we seek your blessings, we seek your forgiveness, and we accept the fact that you receive us and that you are willing to treat us better than we deserve. This we ask in Jesus' name and for his sake. Amen. Amen. We have, uh, we're going to separate for the ordinance of